Hey guys, what's going on today? This is Dal Sue back with some more Endless Legends Tempest with uh, the Mor Morgaur, the squid people. So yeah, we're going to be working on probably expanding towards the north considering there's a lot of empty space there to be had. I don't think there are a lot of negative consequences to grabbing extra cities like there is in Civ 5 and other games like that. So we're going to be doing that. We're going to get some Vor. We have a quest for Vor also. I just want to see if the Vor can do anything on land, because I'm a little worried about building a bunch of navy, naval units and then not having a land force. Uh, we're just sort of developing this city with the basic buildings. We're researching, yeah, agricultural science. So let's just skip on ahead. We're about to grab another, whatever it's called, borough, district. And the second thing we want to do is pacify these guys. So we're going to be working on that as well. And it's winter time. Okay. So for those of you who are unfamiliar with the winter time, there are some negative effects. You move more slowly. You're ter uh, you lose some food. You lose some dust. Can't see as well. But they've recently added a new mechanic. I believe this was shifters. Somebody got that. Uh, is you can collect pearls. There's a pearl. And when you collect pearls and you build uh, this altar of Origa, you get some pretty nice bonuses. I've never actually been through this process, but I read about it, so I, I would sound informed when I got on here and, and did it for you fine people. So that's what we're going to do uh, first, I guess. See, we move super slow. That makes gathering pearls kind of difficult. But I like that mechanic, or I like the idea of it anyway. I don't know how it's going to pan out in reality, but I like the idea because it used to be in wintertime you kind of just sat around. So now you have something that you can actually sort of sink your teeth into. All right, so we got a new burrow, or whatever it's called. Yeah, burrow. And so we got a few things here. We're, we're not getting as much from it right now because it's winter time, obviously, but we're still growing quickly. And we're going to create a vor next. So yeah, we could probably just buy a sewer system if we wanted to. We could also buy a gold extractor. We should probably spend our money on, uh, on the other city. Yeah, let's just buy the public library. And then we'll be doing seed storage. And what else do we want? I mean, we've got three tiles that are C, so we'll get a lot of money from this dust filtration thing. All right, then. That's all we can do. Your empire is about to go bankrupt. Yeah, I didn't really think about that, did I? That was kind of a mistake. Uh, what I will have to do, I guess, then, is move a guy or two into gold production so that we won't... It sucks having to do this, but my mistake. All right, so now we won't go bankrupt. Winter generally doesn't, especially the first winter, generally doesn't last very long. All right, so we're doing dust filtrations now. That'll bring us up a little bit. Let's grab that pearl. We've picked up our first pearl. Um, I would like to parlay with these guys before I keep chasing pearls. The tribes inform you their kidnapped brothers are somewhere in the nearby region called Lendfell. Okay, so I gotta destroy a village. That's a lot harder than the last quest. Um, it doesn't have a button to like click and find out exactly where. I see an AI over here. So we'll have to we'll have to grab these pearls first. Hopefully winter won't last very long. It, population evolution. Alright. So slow in wintertime, but we can follow this river. Grab a pearl. Let's explore these ruins while we're here. Got some dust. That'll keep us going for quite a while. I think I'm gonna switch these guys back now. Still have movement points. Okay. This is the, uh, what is this? Uh oh. I think these are the vaulters who I haven't met yet. Alright, come on, winter time. Alright, we got dust filtration in our second city. Uh, sewer system seems probably like the right move. 
Could also go ahead and build the altar of Auriga. Auriga. It's an expansion district. It actually requires 10 pearls. So those pearls I picked up count as 10. Where does it actually tell me how many pearls I have? Not quite sure about that. Huh. Twelve, there it is. There's the number. Okay, so I actually have enough to build that altar now. Should I do that in my main city? Well, I think that would make a little more sense. Well, we'll hold off on it. We do need to pick something for this place, though. Let's grab, um, let's grab our sewer system, I guess. Such good production there. Keep on marching down. I wonder which one I have to destroy. Free our people. No, not that one. I guess it's this one, isn't it? I'm not sure. Anyway, units level up. Both of my masterminds are leveled up. That's nice. Cool. Aquacultural science, not agricultural science. Man, that's a really nice... Yeah, let's go for public granary. All right. So, just one more time, see if I can figure this out. Um, current. This is my faction quest. This is a competitive quest. This is a side quest. Locate the right... Go yeah, this is it. So, there's still no... Like, zoom to. So, I guess I gotta talk to all the villages in this area. Got some free dust. This one's sparkling, so that means it's probably it. But still, we're not going to be able to destroy it, are we? I don't think so. Well, I wouldn't think we'd be able to just walk in there and destroy it, but we'll see. Okay, new Empire plan's coming up soon. Really wish the winter would go ahead and end. I think you're probably ready for... Well, this is quite nice. Let's grab that. That's what we just researched. Uh, dare I attack? I mean, nothing ventured, nothing gained, right? We might, we may regret this. I th I'm pretty sure we can withdraw, though. Yeah, we're gonna win. Two Minotaurs? Totally possible. Let's do it. Hold your position. It's nice having these archers. Yeah, um... You want the hero a little bit closer. Okay. Can't start there, can we? Well. Why don't we do like this? That way it'll give him two different things to head towards. Alright, I'm ready. So, hold your position. Hold your position. Once you move there, they're going to move first. That's not good. Oof. A lot of damage. Their attack is 49. I think we'll survive it, but it's annoying. Having the initiative would have been huge there, I think. Why are you moving? I didn't tell you to move. Oh, because he's trying to attack that one. Why don't we focus fire on you? Why is my defense and attack so low? Because I'm surrounded? Okay, fair enough. He's going to be forced to counter anyway. That was a pretty even exchange. I may lose one of these guys, unfortunately. Yeah, it's looking like I might. 
Come on, can we do some damage here? That's shit. Alright, that's not bad. It's saying 60% that I'll hit them for 36, but that just doesn't seem to happen. It's a bit confusing, right? Because it says 75, 25, and then 60. <laughs> Which one is it? You know? I don't know. Yeah. Of course, they get the, the benefit of the perfect roll. We'll see how it pans out. These guys are probably going to die. Alright, fair enough. So, I don't think this is possible to win. Best I can do is maybe just not die. And I'm going to do that by probably doing a little bit of movement here. Of course, both of them are just going to counter, and so they're not going to get their moves. See, I don't understand. 55, 51. It doesn't make any sense. What just happened? Alright, we might be able to kill one of them. Maybe. Well, not with that kind of luck. <laughs> right, when my units die, they explode. So, I mean, it worked out. We lost our army, but we hopefully have pacified these guys. Not these guys, the other guys. Quest update. Return to the tribe's village. Can do. Are we building a vor? Yeah, we're about to build a vor. So hopefully that'll help us out a lot. I have no idea whether it will or not, but... So can my vor land. Where is it, first of all? <laughs> Here it is. He's just automatically in the water. He cannot go on land at all. Okay. Good to know, I guess. A little bit annoying, but... So, I mean, can he even attack things on land is what I need to know. Because otherwise, what's the point of just having a big... a big army if you can't really use it because it's in the water? I, I don't know. Alright, so we also pacified the this tribe and got some moon leaf and stuff. Do we have any active bonuses that we can use? I forget which, uh, yeah. So we can use moon leaf, which would be 50% science and plus 10 on cities. I'll do that. Cool. And that's going to give us extra pop. Pretty nice. We're going to do a sewer system and a gold extractor. And then we should probably replace those masterminds, I'm thinking. But we also want another Vor. So we got a lot of things going on here that we need. Yeah, I'm not so sure if I want to move you or not. I would like to go here, but then what if I get attacked? These are boarding vessels. They're 82 life. 37 attack. How about me? I have much more life, much more attack. So if I had a second Vor, I'd probably be fine to just scout around. So, Plus I'd complete, complete that mission. So let's move him up, and let's also stick a few of you in production to make this all happen faster. And I'm happy with that. Finally springtime. Okay, so i got to build that. I'll do it soon. And I guess my hero could go join the, the Vor and then we could scout around. I guess that makes sense. Nothing else doing right now, huh? You're probably ready for a second. We want to go here? I think we do. I think the water tiles are just too good to deny. All right, we're going to get public granary. Working on a second vor. Yep, 
No, we didn't get public granary yet. Okay. I don't think these guys will attack me, but they, they certainly might. I hate that my navy can't do anything on land. I mean, can they even battle a unit if it's right here? I should have checked that out. But maybe naval battles are more important. I don't know. All right, I've been trying to get up here. Plus six attack on units. Yeah, that's that's pretty nice. Let's apply that. Okay, we did get the research now. And we, for some reason, have a battle going on where it's just our hero. Can we retreat? Let's try retreating. We took some damage. Probably not the right move. We can get the hell away from these guys. See, that's what I'm saying. I can't use my Vor to my advantage right now at all. Shouldn't complain about it, but... I mean, it's definitely a cool addition to the game to have naval units. And that is a sweet model, but... I guess we'll have to see in the, in the long run how they pan out. We haven't cho chosen a tech yet, so let's do that. This is also... only a seagoing unit. Which is cool and all, but like... Does that mean that my only real means of fighting on land is that crappy initiate unit? Or am I missing something? See, I don't know about that. This is a guardian, of course. I could build guardians. Which may be what I end up having to do. Because I'm not seeing anything except for boats. It's just all boats. Does that literally mean that I'm stuck with just guardians? Okay, I mean, well, that's the way it goes, maybe. I suppose we'll see. And maybe we can buff the initiates up enough. I don't even know if they're called initiates. What the hell are they called? What are you guys called? Masterminds, okay. Well, we can certainly buff up the masterminds a bit. We could start by just giving them some weapons and armor. Some basic weapons and armor. We've got tier 2 stuff we can give them. Alright, and go there. Improved movement. Why not? Let's give them some boots. It's going to give them some just basic boosts and then... Do we have a shield? I don't think we have like regular armor yet, do we? Oh, this is torso. Okay, yeah. There we go. That's slightly better, but also a bit more expensive. But we can sort of build those. And... Anyway, we need to pick a tech. We're sort of st stalling here a little bit. Uh... Terrain with industry and plus plus industry for a person working it so those are all nice things central market would be nice I think cargo docks sound really intriguing let's let's do that all right I'm gonna get my hero down here to the vor please don't attack me anymore dino riders they are planning to attack me okay so I'll probably have to fight them and end up losing my hero. No, I'm going to get the benefit of Militia now. Okay. So maybe not after all. Anyway, I can just hide in my city. And I can say... Hold still. And then have these guys do the fighting for me. Because I just don't want to lose my hero. The Militia comes back. The heroes don't really come back. With that, I mean, it, it costs money and resources to get your heroes back, and time, I believe. Wow. My militia just fucking wrecked that guy. 
was a zero percent roll is that right <laughs> Man, how come my uh, militia is so good? I guess it's the bonus of being in an urban area. Yeah, huge bonus to attack, huh? Okay, then. We'll just smoke these guys. Why is it that my militia is better than my normal <laughs> units? That's what I want to know. Maybe these units are just a bit weak. All right, I did end up getting tagged there and stunned, unfortunately. But still an easy fight, easier than I thought it was gonna be. Man, if we could just hit everything for 40, it would be an easy. An easy game, wouldn't it? Wow. Okay. Yeah, those militias seem to operate better than my masterminds. And I guess we're going to end the video there, guys. Time's about up. So thank you so much for watching. We didn't make a whole lot of process there because progress rather because I was sort of trying to figure out what the best way to go was. And I don't know if I've done that or not, but basically I think um, I'm a little worried about concentrating too much on Navy to be frank and, and then not having a, a land army, especially since my land army got killed in this episode. So we're going to sort of consider what to do and then we'll, we'll continue on. Please leave your tips and suggestions in the comments and I'd be happy to take them under advisement. Thank you so much. See you next time.